How's it going everybody? My name is Matt and you're watching my YouTube channel Code Tech and Tutorials and I'm doing another vlog on this Ancient Archer game engine that I introduced last video. So basically in last video, in case you haven't watched it, I basically said that I was going to start kind of a new phase uh, with this game engine. I'd been working on it quite a bit in the in the few months previous and it was kind of getting a little convoluted and I basically wanted to do a reset so that I could make it kind of how I intended originally, which is more of a uh, something to build on or to start a project from, if that makes any sense. So previously it was sort of a mishmash of games. It was like uh, I was sort of building games within the engine as a way of testing it. So I decided to separate that out and make like an engine part that... Uh, is something you just use to add your stuff to. I'm not entirely sure how to explain that, but basically the point is to be a little more like um, uh, something you can script or something you can say, hey, add this to the delta time of the main loop or add this to the update every... Yeah, it's something more like that. And, it, and that's sort of akin to the way Unity does it, except they have a whole interface. I haven't gotten an interface yet but that is something i would like to do at some point where you can just drag and drop things in and have like a file manager and things like that but right now it's all done with code and scripting so i just wanted to talk a little bit about that and maybe ask again for hey if anyone's interested in this and seeing how i'm doing it and for me to explain more in detail and sort of a how-to more of a how-to guide on OpenGL and using the windowing system with c plus plus and stuff like that, then, yeah, consider uh, signing up for the Patreon if I get enough there, which isn't a whole lot. Basically, if I get 10 people signed up, I'm going to start doing some more detailed vlogs where I explain more precisely how I'm doing things. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of do some wing it videos like this one where I kind of explain where I'm at and maybe show you a quick demo of what it looks like. But I'm not going to go into high details without any support as it's just going to take a lot of time to edit that stuff together and and I really need to go find a real job if I'm not going to make any sort of monetary gain from this um, and I don't mean for it to to sound the way it probably does but basically I have bills to pay I have a family to take care of I, I can't just do a bunch of stuff for free all the time I can do some quick stuff here and there but if I'm going to spend real time on it I need. I still need to be able to support my family, and basically, I got to go get a real job unless I can get support. So, hope that that doesn't turn anybody off to the idea. But let me know if you have any feedback. If it doesn't work for you for some reason to sign up on the Patreon, but you want to, let me know. Uh, there's probably some things I could change. I kind of just threw it together real quick. And uh, of course, even if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Uh, just watching this video does help me to some extent and uh, giving this video a like if it also helps a ton too. So here we go. I'm just going to kind of show you where it's at right now. A, I, I started kind of remaking the core engine files and basically where it's at right now is I've got the kind of main display popping up and I want it to be more configurable so that way if someone's running it on a different resolution it should be able they should be able to handle that and it should be able to fit to their screen whatever they want and also give some options for whether you want it to be full screen or you want it to be windowed and then resize as you want so if i hit play here and i'll warn you it's just a big red screen right now i made the the background red that way it's extremely clear when you're seeing the unrendered area so the unrendered area is red the, the screen background that way the point of that is when you're when you're making a game you want to have a skybox and, and all your level and stuff and it just makes it real obvious when you don't have any when you have some part of the screen not being used and of course you can go change that if you want I'll probably give some option for the end user to set that but right now it's just behind the scenes so I got the display and some controls in the whole key input system set up that way the developer can process the keys from the keyboard and mouse so I'll hit play here and it's just going to pop up and pretty much I have it set to take to be windowed but max sized. So 
GLFW3, which is the Windows window windowing system I'm using, and the uh, controller or the uh, API that takes the control inputs now has the option to see the usable size of your window and cut out your little bar at the bottom. So that's kind of cool. And I set a quick hotkey to just make it full screen. So if I hit Alt Enter, it goes to full screen. If I hit Alt, Alt Enter again, it'll come out of full screen and go back to its windowed, windowed mode here. So just getting that set up and getting all the, uh, the key input ready took a good bit of time as I just wrote it from scratch. And so I've got this little test class now. And basically all you do is you instantiate the engine. The engine takes care of setting up the display and controls. And then you basically configure the controls, configure the windows, and then you run it. There's going to be more to it. Um, the next step here is really to start adding the OpenGL context and start adding in support for the developer to say, hey, add this model in, um, add this player in, and then start configuring the logic that goes within the main loop. And I'm still kind of working on that, but basically the intention is to have the developer set up the main, what goes in the main loop and what objects are in there and the logic and I've also got to do something for the interface. So there's a lot of work to do and I'm just taking it step by step. This is going to take a while and I'm trying to work on it daily. There's some days I don't get to, uh, but when I do, I'm usually doing it privately. Occasionally I do stream so you can check out my Twitch stream and, and um, follow me there if you want to see when I do live stream this. Real quickly, just turn my camera around, show you my desk, my setup. It's nothing really too special. Um, just got uh, the three monitors set up. This isn't the best look ever, but this is kind of my additional monitor over there for checking stuff out. My main monitor for doing my core work. A little extra monitor over there. Uh, coffee cup off to the side. Um, mic, headset. I don't know. What else is there to show? This is my area. I have the cheapest table ever. I'd like to get some sort of standing set up at some point, but uh, this is basically a $30 table that was like, all right, I can't find a desk big enough, but this one is a big flat top and it's uh, easy to move around. So that worked for me. Anyway, move this back. <sighs> all right, that's gonna do it for this video. Peace out, you guys. Keep on coding, keep on learning, and see you next time.